Hello and welcome back to Real English with Real Teachers. Today we've got another video where we're choosing a phrasal verb that has loads of meanings, loads of meanings. And today's one has 12, 12 different ways that we can use it. And the phrasal verb is come out, come out. Charlie, um, why didn't you come out last night? Uh, I, uh, I uh, couldn't, couldn't get the stain out of my clothes. It, it just wouldn't come out after multiple washes and uh, yeah, out, out of my favorite jeans. So, you know, I couldn't come out and see you without my favorite jeans on, obviously. Oh no. See, <laughs> what was the stain from? Uh, the, the cat, the cat shat on my trousers. The cat shouted, you looks like you're lying there. Was it actually something <laughs> a bit, a bit rude? No, no, it was the cat. I didn't know whether to expose my cat on air. Um, yeah. but yeah, yeah, there we go. So, I'm just glad you didn't expose yourself on air. Um, so there's the first phrasal verb. Uh, the first way we're using it is for social events. So if you want to invite someone to accompany you to go out to a social event, a party, or to go to the pub, to go and play, no, maybe not tennis, but a game of cards with your friends. You could say, you coming out tonight? Do you wanna, do you wanna come out tonight? Yeah, yeah. No, I can't come out tonight. I've got to stay home with the missus. So I'll come out another night. I'll come out another night. Okay, so Charlie's staying at home with the missus. So this is a very, a very common one. Um, and there are going to be 11 more uses today. But before we get going with them, we just want to let you know this video has kindly been sponsored by our friends, hasn't it, Charlie? Yes, our friends at italki, italki.com. It's an online language learning platform. It's got, uh, I think, over 5,000 uh, professional, no, no, it's got thousands of professional tutors and it's got probably hundreds of community tutors. So a community tutor is a, a cheaper version for those who want to just have conversation practice. And it's really good if you're an intermediate or above, you can just go on this website, find a community tutor who is willing to do a video call with you, and you can have an hour long chat for an affordable price. Or the um, professional tutors that uh, Harry and myself are on, it's um, still still reasonable pricing and you get one-to-one -one tuition and um, there's no real curriculum. So you can do whatever you want. You can bring your own stuff to it if you want. And uh, the teacher can tailor make any kind of course just for you. It's brilliant. That's it, it's really good. So if you do want classes with Charlie and I, you can go on to italki, search for our names, I'm Harry, Charlie's called Charlie, and you, you, you should find us on there and you can book a one hour lesson with us. So if you like the sound of that, we have a little treat for you that you can use after watching this video. You just click the link in the description box below, book yourself your first lesson, and then italki will treat you with $10 of credits to spend on your next lesson. So if you're taking a community class, that would probably be enough to buy yourself another lesson, which is really cool. But Charlie, shall we um, shall we get on with this and uh, come out with some more expressions? Let's, yes. So I, uh, I went to the cinema last night and I went to see um, Rocket Man. Have you heard of Rocket Man, Harry? To do with yeah. Elton John. Yeah, I have heard that. I really want to watch that. It, uh, it came out last week, didn't it? It did. It did. He he actually came out in the film. Uh, but yes, it came out uh, last week. So it means like published. If something was released. So it could be a film, could be a book, could be anything that is to do with releasing, like um, an album. I know that uh, James Blake's album just got released recently, if you're interested, Harry. Okay, he's, he's good. I don't listen to his music, but so, that, <laughs> so it's just come out. His album has just come out. His album has just come out. 
Okay. Yes. That's good. And you said that Elton John came out um, in the film. Are you saying that Elton John was published? No, no, I'm not. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that later. Let's let's uh, let them uh, wonder what it means for a little bit. Mm. So another example with this same this same meaning when something is published, we have an IELTS course coming out sometime in the near to you know mid long to long distance future. <laughs> nice way to let them know that it's coming out soon. <laughs> have your eyes peeled. It is coming out soon. So that's it. Something is is going to be published. Harry, I've got to pause you. What does have your eyes peeled mean? Oh, that's a nice one. To have your eyes peeled, uh, like you would peel a banana or a potato before you cook it, it means to have them um, ready, attentive. You're ready and waiting for something that is coming out soon. To have your eyes peeled, be attentive. Yeah, I used to always hear this phrase with my mum when we went shopping and we'd go into the car park to find a space. She'd always say, keep your eyes peeled, children. We've got to find a space now. Ah, that's good. So you always had your eyes peeled. And you've got good eyes to have peeled because yours are very, very big eyes, aren't they? Very good for peeling. <laughs> they are very good for peeling there. Um, so that's a great example. Going on to the next one, um, we can also use it to say that something appears. And we especially use this with the moon, the stars, and the sun. So uh, I could say that it was a rainy day, but then the sun came out. The sun came out. Or if I look out the window and it's just become sunny, I could say, ah, the sun has come out. Thank God we can have our picnic. The sun has come out. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about this. It says stars and the moon, but you would often just say the stars are out tonight, wouldn't you? Ah, oh, the stars are out or the moon's out. You would say it about the sun. Ah, oh, the sun's come out. The sun's come out. Finally, it's come out. In England, that's a rarity. It's come out, Harry. We've got to celebrate. But with stars and the moon, Maybe just say it, it's it's out or the stars are out tonight. Mm, yeah, it's true. Yeah, the moon's out, stars out, sun as well. Sun's out. It's true. Sun's out. Get your get your nipples out. <laughs> sun's out. Guns out. That's it. Yeah, not nipples. Yeah, guns. Sun's out. Guns out. Not nipples. Keep them away. <laughs> Unless you're in the park. You're not not walking around the streets, uh, but sometimes you find that in England. You do find men walking around the streets when the sun is out with their nipples out. Don't yeah, you? yeah. Uh, depending on where you're from, guys, if you see a a guy with um short shorts on in the summer and um their top off, looking unfit and pale, and they might have just put some sun cream on, they're probably British, aren't they? And especially if they've got a beer in their hand, walking along the street, shouting songs, probably a Brit. Yeah, most likely. Most likely a Brit on their way to a barbecue or the pub. And they wanted a can of beer to have on the way. Because yeah. They can't have, you know, half an hour without drink. You need a road beer. So, yeah. Sun's out, yeah. Guns out. Yeah, there you go. So the next one is uh, to become known. So um, in, a, in a situation that might be a secret to be, begin with, it could be like, um, OK, my friend, he he was driving and he crashed his car and we all felt sorry for him. We said, oh, no, you've ri you ripped your car off. To write your car off is to completely destroy it, to write your car off. The car is written off. Um, but it came out, it came out that he was drink driving. He was drunk. Okay. So you didn't know it at the start. He kept it a secret. And then you realized what happened. It came out that he had been drink driving. Yeah. Terrible. 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 Bad business. Bad business. Very bad business. Um, 
And maybe if someone is fired at work or someone, someone leaves work and they tell you, yeah, I just wanted to, to explore something new. I wanted to get a new job. And then it comes out that they've been stealing from the office. So, oh, you know, man. you didn't know at the time it was a secret and the boss didn't tell you because, you know, they wanted to try and maintain the dignity of this person intact. And they just, and then it came out, you heard it somewhere else. Oh dear. What were they stealing? Just paper, just loads of paper. Loads of paper, yeah. printing paper. Oh God, that's, yeah. But terrible quality, you know, the thick kind of card stuff. Not yeah. Stuff. Yeah. No, not the cheap stuff. Not worth it otherwise. And um, we mentioned this one before become known. There's another meaning to this meaning um, where I said about Elton John, uh, who came out in the film that came out recently. So to come out as a person, normally as a male, comes out i suppose do, do we say with women they come out she came out to her yeah yeah she yeah. came out to her parents yeah so to come out is to declare you are a homosexual mm. so you often would hear it saying he came out to his parents to let his parents know that he's now a homosexual or he has been for a while and he's now officially gay or as i said a female, she could come out to her parents or her friends. That's good. Yeah, I came. Yeah, maybe they would do it in two different um, kind of meetings. First, you have to come out to your friends. That are probably easier to come out to your friends, and then meet the parents. Come out to your parents. But then, if you want to just talk, refer back to that event. You don't need to need to. <clears throat> you don't need to say who you are coming out to. You could just say. I came out uh, last year. I came out, or it was so difficult coming out last year. Yeah, is that the order that you would do it? Friends, then family. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, or maybe I'd come out to my mum, then to my friends, and then to the rest of the family. <laughs> okay, and okay. then the fish, the goldfish, the goldfish that's already dead. Yeah, he's dead, but I just go to his little grave that I made him. And him. how would you say it? I'm gay. You knew it, didn't you? you lovely <laughs> little golden. Uh, see there, that's, that's good. Often people might say that, might say, I knew it. We knew it. It's obvious. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. I've known for years. I've known for years. I, I don't want to be to receive a spoiler here, but how did Elton John do it? In the um, I don't want to, actually, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a spoiler majorly. He did it on the phone to his mum just before oh, right. a gig. And she said, I've known for years, known for years. Then she said some other stuff that I won't, I won't spoil. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. so those are the examples with become known. I, I can see another example here that we should say, like you could relate it to exams, the exam results. Sorry. So um, at this time of the year, um, people who are 16 and 18, they're taking some serious exams in the next month or so. And then the results will come out in the middle of the summer. They will come out. Mm. Released, be released. That's it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they do normally come out around summer. So people will be receiving their A level results in England in July, perhaps. That's when they come out, the results come out. Um, going on to the next one, it's talking about the results of, of something. So maybe the result of a process. And then we're talking about the condition of the result. How good it? How good is it? Um, so, for example, if if you are going through a difficult time and you have a divorce, and then you need to arrange the settlement, you know who receives what when you when you end the marriage, who receives the house, who gets custody of the children. Um, you could say that one person came out badly. If maybe the man lost lots of money, you could say he came out 
badly from the divorce. He came out badly from the divorce. Yeah, yeah. And you could say that about uh, a painting, couldn't you? You could say it came out, um, it came out really well, came out really well. If you, you're doing a, a painting and then you see someone later and you see the end result, you say, oh, that came out well, didn't it? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. So it's a process, right? So like a painting is a process. You don't just do it all in one hour or one day. Maybe you spend a couple of days working on it. Like my dad does a lot of art and he did a couple of different paintings for me and I saw them during the process. And when he finished them, I said, wow, that came out well, dad. Well done. Well done, you. Yeah. Nice. Nice. If you were to get a divorce from a, a certain person, do you think you would come out? You can also say come out on top, can't you? Mm, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So if you've come out and you're, you're winning, you have come out on top. Maybe you got the car, the house, you get all the good stuff. Um, I don't know how I would come out, to be honest. I've, I've never been married. So yeah, hard, hard to know. I mean, I would come out fighting. That's for sure. You know, yeah. Try and get my you, hands on as much as I can. If you, if you had a house, a couple of nice cars, some kids and a dog, what would you go for? Um, well, she can have the house and the kids. I'll take the dog. So you're going to be a homeless dog owner. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cause homeless people with dogs do better, don't they? They get more. I I wonder that because they've got to, they've got two mouths to feed. So I always think this is a bit confusing. Why don't you sell the dog and then eat some food? <laughs> <laughs> Hard. To, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if people would just buy a dog off a homeless person. Maybe they would. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Well, give it a wash. Um, but there we go. So uh, you probably wouldn't come out on top if you ended up homeless just with a dog would you um no no probably not that would that would nay be good um and speaking of, you said you'd have to give the dog a wash right you'd have to give the dog a wash speaking of washing we have a use of this phrasal <laughs> verb specifically to talk about when you are removing something from a piece of clothing or from a piece of material cloth um, so you could say, what could you say, Chaz, if you had a dirty stain on your trousers like you did last night? On my trousers, yeah. Yeah, and your, your trousers, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, as, as I said at the beginning, um, it hasn't come out. So something to be removed, be removed, come out. The stain hasn't come out. You could talk about anything, though, anything that has fabric, probably, like a sofa. Oh, no. I scrubbed at that for hours, but it hasn't come out. Um, so I'm uh, in charge of my parents' house for the next couple of hours. I've been in charge for the weekend because they went on holiday to the Isle of Wight. And uh, one of our cats is very sick and it keeps pooing everywhere. Um, but I was scrubbing for hours trying to get the poo out. Could I, could I say um about a floor a hard floor could i say it hasn't come out it's not quite mm, no there you'd probably say it hasn't hasn't come off wouldn't you it hasn't come off yeah because it's not like in it it's not a, in the fabric yeah. so probably more fabricy stuff yes definitely more fabricy stuff yeah um same if you had like a stain on a cup you would try to get it off rather than getting it out but then if you had a tea towel and there was some some old bolognese on it or something or curry, curry is really bad for stains. And also um, tomato sauce is really bad, though it's difficult to, to get it out. Um, so you could say the tomato sauce hasn't come out of my T-shirt. Yeah. Or for you, brown sauce. Yeah, I, would, I prefer brown sauce to tomato ketchup. So, yeah. Um, I've never spilt brown sauce on myself, surprisingly. That's, like, that's actually not surprising because you probably cherish every mouthful. So you're very careful to get it all in your gob. <laughs> that's very true. That's very true. Um, so these cats that are um, pooing all over the house, have they pooed on anything and the stains have stayed and you haven't been able to 
you know, get it out? They haven't come out. Um, it is mainly on the floor. It's mainly on hard surface. But actually, no, there's stains on the carpet. So you could say that about the carpet. It's stained forever. Uh, so, yeah, you it's not come out. It's not come out at all. OK, cool. So remember, when you when you kind of use this this phrasal verb, it needs to be talking about something. Something comes out. Something has come out. Um, so you couldn't say I came it out. That wouldn't that wouldn't make sense. I couldn't couldn't say that. You'd have to say I got it out. I got it out. I got the stain out of my T-shirt. And you could say the stain came out. The stain came out. Yes. Yes. Is this the one where we're talking about come out of something as well? Come out of something? Um, uh, that was the one before. Result. That was, that was with results. Yeah, like I've came out of the marriage well. Okay, so we dealt with it. Yeah, we, we dealt, dealt with it. that. Good, good, good. Okay, time to move on to photos. Now, I said about a, a painting, uh, you could say, oh, that came out well. And that is similar, but it's it's specific to photos because of the, the process of the olden days, how photos used to be developed. And uh, if it didn't come out, it would mean that it, the, the, the photo that you were trying to take, the lights didn't appear in the right way. So it didn't come out, did it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, do you remember when you used to go and get your, your film developed? So that's when you, you make your photos come out in, in photo form. You take it to Polaroid or Kodak and they will develop it for you. Um, it was a kind of gamble. You didn't really know or a lottery. It was, you would go there with your film and then you would see them for the first time. You know, you couldn't just take a selfie and then review it after. It was like, oh, it's a, it's a mystery. Are they going to come out well? Yeah, that's true. I just saw a good, um, good sentence of it. Good example. I'm going to do a lovely drawing. Try to be Papa English, but fail. So um, there's my photo. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, I think um, Papa English should be very worried right now. Yeah, yeah, you're, you should be. Um, so there's obviously a very handsome looking person. But uh, you can't see any of the details. So uh, you could say his face hasn't come out very well there. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, you can't see his nose, his lovely eyes. He's got no features, actually. No, his features haven't come out very clearly in the photo. In the photo, we're specifically talking about photos there. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, have you taken any photos recently where you, know, you haven't come out well or the scene hasn't come out very well because you're quite into photography now, aren't you? Oh, big time, big time. Uh, yeah, yeah. When it's overexposed, when I don't get the right white balance or exposure, yeah, it doesn't come out the way that I wanted it to. So it hasn't come out. Yeah, hasn't hasn't come out clearly. Mm. Okay, good. Um, so going from photos swiftly on to... Um, talking about the way that we say things. So sometimes you have in your mind um, an idea or something you want to say to somebody, like something as simple as, I love you, I love you. Aww. But sometimes, Chaz, you can't find the right words to say it and it comes out and it sounds, it sounds weird. So maybe you would say something like, um, I love watching you while you sleep. <laughs> that came about, uh, came out a bit perverted, Harry. What do you mean? So it came out a bit perverted, but what I wanted to say was I love, I love her so much that I sometimes I see her sleeping and I think, aha, uh -huh, I love her. I'm just going to watch her for a minute. But it came out wrong. So I could say, oh, that, sorry, darling, that, that came out wrong or came out perverted. I'm, I'm not just spying on you, staring at you and touching myself. I'm just looking at you <laughs> while you sleep for a minute. Very good. Yeah. Have you done that much? <laughs> Watch someone while they sleep? Whilst touching yourself? No. No. I remember when I had a girlfriend, like sometimes I would wake up and see her sleeping. I'd be like, oh, that's, you know, 
so cute. Look at her sleeping. She's having a lovely dream. <laughs> yeah, she's like fitting. <laughs> Shaking and sweating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, has it, have you ever had it come out wrong? Yeah, you've declared love for people a few times. Oh, uh, or you've had it. difficult difficult things to say to, to ex-girlfriends. Has it ever kind of come out wrong when you've tried to say something? Yeah, actually, I remember um, an ex, I was with her, um, we went traveling together as friends and I wooed her enough to make her go out with me. This is the one that I fainted on the plane in front yeah. of. Oh, yeah. And uh, and then we were out. We were going out together for. Is that right? We were going out together. Uh -huh. that awful. Yeah. We were going out. We were going out. Yeah, we were going out for like a month or two, and then um, she was making me depressed. And uh, I needed to tell her this, but I wanted to sort of um, see how it went, changing the relationship a little bit. But I said it wrong, and it upset her. And she said, "Get out." so we're done <laughs> we're done so what i wanted to say came out wrong and she took it really bad really badly oh dear oh dear what did you say like you are making me clinically depressed <laughs> yeah i'm needing to get a prescription to get through this relationship <laughs> yeah do you mind if i support this relationship with antidepressants <laughs> the only way yeah. i can survive with you yeah so that came out wrong um it normally has a kind of negative connotation in, in this sense it didn't you normally say oh, it didn't come out how i wanted it to or it didn't come out very well yeah yeah often often rude yeah 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 so if you accidentally offend someone with something you say say that oh sorry that came out wrong and then try to think of another way to to save yourself yeah let me say that again let me try again yeah oh no that came out wrong as well yeah <laughs> yeah so swiftly on to um daffodils flowers the spring has sprung and uh the daffodils have come out so a way to remember this is open imagine a flower opening up um and it, it seems very specific the way that they've declared this it's just about flowers right in this in this context yeah yeah so it's a good one to to talk about spring summertime the sunflowers are coming out it's lovely it's lovely walking around the street and seeing the flowers coming out the roses the daffodils the lilies they're coming out lovely yeah it would be great to go to japan when the cherry blossom is coming out or are blossoming Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Is there a specific part of Japan where they come out? Uh, I don't know, actually. It's just a, I think you've got to be very specific with your timing. I think it's probably busier at that time because of this. But yeah, I, if yeah. you're watching and you're from Japan or you know this answer, is it a specific location within Japan or is it the whole of Japan that has this? Yeah, and tell us also, do any of you in Japan have skin problems when the um, when the cherry blossom comes out? Because sometimes, like Charlie, you've got a problem with um, with hay fever, you know, an allergy to pollen, and do you, you come out in um, do you come out in rashes? When no, I don't. I don't come out in rashes. I don't get anything um, visible on my skin. Um, uh, but I, <laughs> but it's still good. You used the example. <laughs> well, well done. Uh, but no, I, I get uh, a clogged nose or bunged up, bunged up uh, right. congestion. Congestion, that's it. Congestion. In okay. There. Well, sometimes um, people do come out in rashes in, in reaction to certain plants. And um, sometimes if I lie on the grass, if it's nice and sunny and I lie on the grass without a towel or some kind of mat, I come out in a rash. So I get a rash. So this means that a rash appears, um, an allergic reaction appears on your skin. Or uh, if you're going through, if you're going through, through pubescence, 
um, adolescence, when everything's changing, maybe you're 15, 16, your voice has dropped, you're getting spots, you could say, I have come out in spots. Or when I was younger, I came out in spots. So, you know, I suddenly started to get lots of spots on my face. Yeah. Did you ever have that period of coming out with, with acne? I never had acne. No, I was really lucky. I had a friend, Ben, who was really spotty and he had like some treatment to try and get rid of his spots because he, he came out in spots. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, he looked, um, well, not, he, he had a hard time because of it. It, it affected his self-confidence and everything. He had just a face full of them. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. I remember I, I had it a little bit, not too bad, but I, I had like this like um, pimples across the forehead, like in perfect symmetry. It was really weird once. I, I think it wasn't like 15. It was just like five or six, but they were all like that. It was very comical. Okay, comical spots. Well, at least it was kind of symmetrical. At least, yeah, because that's that's what beauty is all about, right? Exactly. Um, so that's skin problems. As you said about the grass, that's a common one. When you lie on the grass, you come mm. out in in a rash. And I actually sometimes get it on my chest when I've been in a lot of sun. So I get a heat rash. I come out in in um, pimples or or spots. It's not very nice. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to Australia. No, it's no rough. You get them um, sometimes because of like really oily, oily skin. I've got a friend Toby who comes out in spots on his back. He gets gets loads around his back. Right. I don't think throwing, it's from throwing a lot of your friends under the bus here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good good expression to throw someone under the bus. What did you mean by that? Uh, well, I think I meant uh, you're putting them in front of. Um, something that will cause them <laughs> yeah, in, front of the bus. in front of something that will cause them upset. Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting them in a, a vulnerable position by telling, telling everyone that they've got spots all over their back. Um, so That's going good. on to the next one. Ah, oh, I had it as well. Yeah. We've both written it. I've, I've, I've included with something, so we should probably, stay with mine right <laughs> yeah you take the lead on this one babe all right all right so come out with something um to say something suddenly we thought it'd be best to explain it like that to suddenly say something and um this is when it, it's kind of like uh that came out wrong isn't it a little bit like that like the way that you said something Actually, scrap that. It's not. It's not like that. I, I'm changing my mind. So come out with something. Um, somebody could say a phrase really randomly mm. and you didn't expect it. And it was just a, a weird expression. And maybe they do this a lot. And you can explain that this person comes out with the strangest things. They say the weirdest stuff. This, this person comes out with all sorts all sorts is often meaning a variety of strange things that's it all sorts he comes out with all sorts he comes out with loads of loads of crap um so it's not it's not always negative it can be like if someone's providing amusement uh they always say random things that make you laugh you can say she comes out with the funniest things like kids when they're when they're little like isabella your your niece Charlie, she comes out with with quite funny things because she's just running around saying random things and she's adorable. That's very true. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely not uh, negative, and you can come out with some good ideas, can't you? You can, yeah. Well, ideas we come up with ideas, don't we? Came out with a good idea. Maybe if it's like in a meeting, he came out with something interesting. But I think the word idea, we'd say come up with an idea. Um, I know what you mean. You can say come up to come up with something, mm. but she comes out with some great ideas. Mm. I think you can say that. Okay, yeah. So like if you're in a meeting, maybe, a creative meeting, and one person says something that's like unexpected, 
and then suddenly she she came out with something yeah she came out with a great idea nice yeah yeah come up i would say is more specific but it is used a lot isn't it she come up she came up with a great great idea to save the company she came up she came up with this brilliant idea she maybe it's general like she comes out with really good ideas or he yeah yeah i think uh go with either it sounds sounds really good sounds good she came out with some good ideas in the meeting yeah there we go that's it that's all we've got isn't it that's it i hope something useful has come out of uh of this lesson for you Wait. you were here live sorry we're not interacting with you uh, but we will read your comments after if you want to leave a leave a comment under the video so not just in the chat but under the comments and we will um we will read them for you and let you know if you're using these phrases correctly um what could be their homework child to get them using these expressions um i think story is always good you can go anywhere you like with it so just be imaginative and use as many of these phrases in different meanings as possible i saw some good ones with the last video on uh, get on 10 ways to use get on um so yeah same again different ways to use come out all in one comment or short story if you will nice one so remember to give this video a like if any of these new expressions, well, these uh, uses of the phrasal verb have been new to you. Um, also subscribe if you are new to the channel, welcome. And watch some of our other content because we have probably over yeah, hundreds of videos now, all for English learners like you to become better speakers and better users of the language. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Charlie. And see you all again soon for another lesson. Bye-bye.